Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America, our star. Yeah. Oh, say can you see that I the torn tree light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars bear the perilous fight o'er the rampart we watch for oh, so gallantly flag was still there. Oh, Satan's bad star is spangled and yet we for the land of the priest and the Ladies and gentlemen, the singing trooper, Sergeant Danny Clark. Colors, post. Representing the VFW Post 1093 Honor Guard. Danny Gallant, Ed Marsh, Mike Doyon, George Gallant, and our bagpiper today, Gideon Bresley. My name is Kendall Buell from the Ipswich Fire Department. On behalf of all of our first responders, I welcome you to Ipswich's 80th Anniversary of D-Day Parade. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our man on Beacon Hill, Senator Bruce Tarr. Thank you very much, Kendall, and good afternoon. I want to introduce a few of the people that are on the stage with us here this afternoon. We are honored to have them with, them, uh, with us as very special guests. The first is Brigadier General Lisa Hazy, the Assistant Adjutant General of the Air National Guard. Let's give her a round of applause. Also, representing families that have shared in the sacrifice of so many of who have served. Marion Dennehy, the New England Regional President of the Gold Star Wives of America. And seated next to Marion is a Gold Star wife, Pam Hart. Pam, thank you for being with us. Now what you're seeing today was the effort of hundreds of people, but uh, began with the single vision of the new commander of the VFW Post 1093, Larry Jordan, Sergeant United States Marine Corps, retired. He served 13 months in Vietnam, 12 years on the Ipswich Police Department, and as commander of VFW 1093, made this happen today. Sadly, Larry, uh, uh, took an ill turn. He could not be with us today, but we're very proud to present to you uh, Ted Lemieux, former VFW 1093 commander, an Army veteran, Vietnam War veteran of 1970, and 33 years on the Ipswich Police Force. Ted. And down the road, the Ipswich 80th anniversary of D-Day Parade is underway. In the meantime, let me once again present to you the nationally renowned singing trooper, U.S. Marine Corps vet and retired Massachusetts State Trooper, Sergeant Danny Clark. Come on. Come on. 
gold flag or a hot lion bag and forever in peace be with for the emblem of the land I love the home of the free and the brave every heart beats true to that red, white and blue where there's never a boost or brag and should old acquaintance be forgot keep your high on that grand old flag come on this land is your land this land is my land from california to the new york island from the redwood forest to the gold stream waters this land was made you and al Sinni. as i was walking up down that highway i looked above me down in the sky we are look below me down in the valley this land was made you have let me hear it. come on the stars at night are big and bright deep in the heart of texas the prairie sky is wide and high deep in the heart of texas the sage in bloom is like perfume deep in the heart of texas reminds me of the one i love deep in the heart of texas come on i'm a yankee doodle dandy that's it yankee doodle to a tie i realize a few of my uncle's sad born on the fourth of july i've got a yankee doodle sweetheart she's my yankee doodle joy Oh, Yankee Doodle came to town riding on a pony. I have a Yankee Doodle boy. Over there, over there. Send the word, send the word over there. That the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming. The drum, drum, drum is having quit. So prepare, say a prayer. Send the word, send the word to beware. We'll be old, we're coming over, and we won't come back till we're over, over there. Here we go. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the sun begin shine. Oh, when the sun begins to shine Lord, I wanna be in that number Oh, when the sun begins to shine Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh yeah Oh, when the saints go marching in Lord, I wanna be in that number Oh, when the saints go march Give it to me you guys are outstanding, outstanding, wow, outstanding, outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ipswich Police Honor Guard, consisting of Detectives Pete Jados and Ted Gallivan, Sergeant Charles Ciccatelli, and Patrolman Dave Moore and Josh Colometta.
our law enforcement vehicles from the emergency management post and the Ipswich Police Department safe boat. The Essex County Sheriff's Department Honor Guard. <laughs> Leading our fire apparatus this afternoon, two of Ipswich's own engines. Ipswich Engine 5. The General Sutton, our ladder truck, truck one. <laughs> Making its parade debut today. The newest truck in the Essex Fire Department fleet, Essex Ladder 1, put into service just this spring. Doug Boudreaux of the Cambridge Fire Department brought this one to us. This is a 1984 American LaFrance. From 1950, a Ford F7 brought to us by Paul Welch of Salem, New Hampshire. From New Ipswich, New Hampshire, a 1987 Pemfab, engine three. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Massachusetts State Police Color Guard. For over 30 years, the State Police Honor Guard has participated in events statewide, including parades, inaugurations, funerals, and professional sporting events. Its 35 members drill once a month to stay sharp and participate in approximately 50 events a year. Let's give them a round of applause. Gentlemen, the state police, pipes and drums. Since 1987, the MSB pipes and drums have performed across Massachusetts and around the nation, led by Sergeants Matt Russell and Jeff Archambault. Now passing before us is the town of Ipswich float, honoring the 36 Ipswich residents who were killed in action in World War II. Marching with the float are town manager Stephen Crane and select board members Linda Alexson, Charlie Sapitsky, Sarah Player, Mark Doherty, and Mark Nyland. Also with the select board is State Representative Kristen Kasner. And Bank of Gloucester was the first local company to support this event with fundraising and administrative support. The Ipswage D-Day Parade Committee salutes this amazing team.
ladies and gentlemen, we would like you to welcome a very special guest to the reviewing stand. World War II veteran Joe Sullivan of the Merchant Marines. Joe landed in Normandy during D-Day operations 80 years ago. Joe also sailed in missions to Italy, Africa, and Russia. Joe, this nation owes you a deep, deep debt of gratitude. Joe Sullivan. Sullivan. And before us now, Ipswich resident Jazz the Horse. The riderless horse with the boots and the stirrup backwards is a representation of the fallen soldier. Say that beats choppers or the horse? You would take the horse over the choppers. I've heard the expression like riding on a basketball in uh, 5,000 feet above the air. Yeah, thanks for your service, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking about those men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice for this great nation. Up in this area of the world, there's a very special song. People don't realize it's used for, to memorialize men and women going off to combat. The story is that when the pipes would play and echo down the valley and over the glen, it was time for the eldest man of the family to go fight the battle. And in this story, if Danny's the eldest man of the family, it follows that the grandfather and the father have since passed away. This iconic song was written for a mother. A mother who is standing with her eldest son, Danny, sending him off to war. Now I know this is very personal to many, many people here, including our family, because we have our own First Lieutenant Daniel Clark, United States Marine Corps Aviator. This is for all of you and all of those men who have given their lives to this great nation. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, 
lights are calling from Glen to Glen and down the mountain side. The summer's call and all the roses driven by Ipswich resident Stephen Knowlton. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Legion Color Guard. The American Legion in Ipswich is led by Commander Jim Grafham, and it has uh, post 80, has approximately 120 members, men and women who have served in conflicts from World War II to the global war on terror. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ipswich American Legion. <laughs> And originally formed nearly 90 years ago as the Boston Fire Department Marching Band, the Boston Firemen's Band. Another one of our local veterans organizations of which we are so proud is the Ipswich AMVETS 201. Their float is a salute to the men and women of Ipswich who worked at the Sylvania plant on Esky Street. It was a highly classified secret during the war, but this plant produced proximity fuses, a major breakthrough in weaponry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ipswich AMVETS 201. The 
these four Ford Mustangs provided to us by Art Russo of Ipswich. <laughs> Founded by Mariana de Escura, the Mariana's Dance Studio. A 1958 Chevrolet driven by Bob's Auto Body from Ipswich. And we are now entertained by the North Shore Stompers. They were formed in 2007 by co-directors Stephen Moore and David Andrew Moore. A 1955 Chevrolet. A 1930 Ford Model A. <laughs> <laughs> Now passing a 1936 Chevy Master Coupe. A 1928 Ford Model A. Look at that rumble seat. You know what it is? Another Model A that's garaged in Ipswich. Look at that unique license plate from 1930. Nineteen sixty four Thunderbird and a Mustang passing by. Joining us from Charlestown, the color guard of the USS Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, the Greater Boston Firefighters, Pipes and Drums. Comprised primarily of active and retired first responders from departments around the Boston area, the Pipe and Drum Corps symbolizes unity, strength, and camaraderie in the fire service community.
I think I've already shaved off my turn on here. Now before us, the crew in the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary from U.S. Coast Guard Station Merrimack River. This station is an historic one because the very first cutter in what would become the Coast Guard was built in Newburyport in 1791. Station Merrimack River is one of 20 surf stations in the United States Coast Guard with primary missions including search and rescue and law enforcement. And the members of the station, as well as the auxiliary, brought with them today a 29-foot patrol boat. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much to the Coast Guard. Before us now, a replica of the USS Thresher submarine. This nuclear-powered attack sub was built at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in 1961. In 1963, it sank during deep-dive tests off of Cape Cod, killing all 129 people on board. This scale model was built by fellow submarine sailors as a tribute to those brave souls. Joining us from the Witch City under the direction of Sydney Naprakowski, ladies and gentlemen, the Salem High Marching Band. Commander of the PLEV post in, in, in Salem Mass, Tom Higgins. 
We're honored to be joined from Haverhill, Massachusetts, the Haverhill J-R-O-T-C Color Guard. This is a U.S. Marine-sponsored program developing discipline, citizenship, and leadership in its cadets. And look at that. An authentic World War II General Command car brought to us by the Ipswich Fish and Game Club. Here is the North Shore Pipe Band, founded in 2011 by members of the former Peabody Fire Pipes and Drums. This all-age band performs all around New England. Please give a warm welcome to the Ipswich Rowley Rotary Club with a fantastic display of flags on the lower green. Beautiful blue Buick Electra. Thanks for being here.
Ladies and gentlemen, one of the nation's most distinguished alumni exhibition corps, the Boston Crusaders Senior Drum and Bugle Corps. And all these members you see here are alumni of junior corps like the famous Boston Crusaders and most precious blood crusaders of Hyde Park. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's oldest and largest fraternity, the ancient free and accepted Masons, here represented by the Grand Lodge of Masons in Massachusetts and the John T. Hurt Lodge right here in Ipswich. It is 160 years old. Something you do not see every day. The M4 Sherman tank was manned by a crew of five and equipped with one 75 millimeter cannon plus one 50 caliber, two 30 caliber machine guns. It was used in every theater of operation in World War II. And this particular tank, owned by the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, played the title role in the 1982 movie Tank with James Garner. vehicles from World War II, armored personnel carrier. Two and a half ton truck.
And here is the Dirty Water Brass Band. It's a Boston-based band that describes its musical style as undefinably raucous. And they play events all around New England. taken into the Continental Army establishment in 1975, composed of seafaring men from around Marblehead, and manned the boats during the New York and New Jersey campaign of 1776 at the crossing of the Delaware River.
electronics, magazines, and letters to veterans of the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kuwait. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as United States Marine, obviously I take the greatest pride in my service, but I have the greatest respect for all of those who have served. Now, you know my hymn, from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. If you served in our United States Army, you know your hymn to be caissons go rolling along. They changed the word just a little bit, now called Army First to Fight. If you served in our United States Navy, your iconic hymn, Anchors Away. If you served in our United States Air Force or Army Air Corps, your hymn has always been Wild Blue Yonder. Now, we have a new branch of service. It is known as the Space Force. They have a hymn, they have a motto, Semper Supra, always above. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are men and women who not only guard our shores, but they are deployed in combat venues all over the world. Their hymn, Semper Paradis, always ready, the United States Coast Guard. And then finally, there's a group that was long forgotten. 
supporting and defending this nation since 1775 in both peace and in war, I'm referring to our merchant marines, many times sunk by enemy submarines right off the coast of the United States of America. Will they have a hymn also? Heave ho, my lads, heave ho. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would respectfully request when I sing your hymn, if you have served, had a family member who has served, been married to a serviceman or servicewoman, when I sing your hymn, let me see your paw in the air so I can properly recognize you. The order of military hymns today is going to be the Merchant Marines, the Coast Guard, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Space Force, and then the United States Marine Corps. These are the men and women who defend the great United States of America. Do I have any merchant marines on deck? Where are my merchant marines? Where are you? Come on. Heave ho, my lads, heave ho. It's a long, long way to go. It's a long, long pull with a hatch is full. Braving the wind, braving the sea, but in a treacherous foe. Heave ho, my lads, heave ho. Though the seas blow high and low. Guardsmen here. Coast Guard, where are you? Coast Guard. We're always ready for the call. Oh, we place our trust in thee. Through surf and storm and howling hell, I shall a purpose be. Seven parapalatus is our guide. A fame and glory to a to fight to save and fight to die. I Coast Guard. Army, army. Our first to fight for the right and to bear the nation's might, and the army goes rolling along. A battle fall we have done, fight until the battle's won, and the army goes rolling along. But it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Call up your cadence, it's hard and strong. For oh, wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Where's my navy? Navy, hope! Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. Farewell to college choice. We sail at break of day. Thank you. 
From our merchant marines to our coast guardsmen, our army, our navy, our air force, our space force, our United States Marine Corps. We wish you Godspeed and 